That ball thrower is so cool. Yeah, it is. I you don't even have to bend down. I know, and it picks it up for you, so you don't have to like place it in. That's so cool. So this little ball thrower we found at Costco, and it's like the coolest dog ball thrower thing. We still do have the automatic one. Maddie has learned, but she loves the human interaction, so she like, you have to actually tell her, drop it in, and then she'll drop it in. We thought this was gonna be a happy video. I thought so too. So, I'm like already gonna start crying. Some of you guys saw, if you watched our video of the last day of school, I was pulling out of my driveway and someone, well, my a neighbor, well, a person, anyways, a person that like literally walked in front of my car made me stop in the middle of the road. I rolled down my window and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And he's like, oh my gosh, I need your help. Can you please help? And he's like, I have this puppy and we're going to leave it and I can't take it. It's my daughter's, blah, 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 this whole thing. Um, so we went into the house, one, one of my neighbor's houses, and um, got the puppy. Hallie was so excited um, and just felt like the pieces fit into place that it was meant to be. Unfortunately, that's not how things went. She went out and like bought and all this stuff. And then she also set like a vet appointment to get shots and um, also a hair grooming appointment, all of that stuff. So Hallie was just like, and then she's texting me videos and pictures and I found his favorite toy and I did this and uh, oh, okay, sorry, we're not gonna cry in this video. We're not doing that. So anyways, yesterday um, I was at church and Bella um, didn't go to church or she was at home and there was a knock at our door and it was a lady and she was like did someone give you a dog the other day and Bella's like oh yeah my sister has it and the lady's like that wasn't supposed to happen so I guess there was a big miscommunication my neighbor ended up moving out of state um, and left the dog and but she had arranged for her brother to take the dog and then the dad didn't know that and the dad thought it was just being abandoned and left at the house but that's not actually what was happening so the brother showed up to get the dog and the dog wasn't there because the dog was already with us and it was this whole miscommunication so um, when I got back from church I called her and we had this really great conversation and, and they want the dog back and the dog wasn't being abandoned like we thought um, but I had to call and tell Hallie this and she immediately like started crying she's like I know it's meant to be like she said she had this feeling that like she was basically a foster parent for this dog and she was fostering it she had that like thought and then she was like no this is like mine and like she was trying to like get herself past this thought but I really think that was her intuition knowing that something wasn't quite right um, but Hallie has to bring the dog over today and they're gonna come pick it up. I don't know why I'm crying about it. Like it's, it's kind of a happy ending because they weren't going to abandon the dog, but I just feel really bad for Hallie. But I do think there's lessons to be learned in everything. So, okay, sorry, now that we got that out, <laughs> we're good, we're good, Max, we're good. <laughs> She's so close to crying. <sighs> okay. So anyways, I'm going to be taking a couple of bed frames over to Jamie and Hallie right now. Hi, baby. Um, and making sure that Hallie is okay. So let's go ahead over there. You coming with me? Yeah. You go to Jamie and Hallie's house? Yeah. Kay. I want to see doggy. You want to see the dog? Oh. Okay. The dog's going back to its home, though. They're not going to have the dog anymore. Dog. Are you okay? Yeah, I I cried it out. I got all the sadness out. And so I think I'm ready to say goodbye. Oh, it's okay. You took very good care of him while you had him. Yeah. I she even was gonna get him neutered. Yeah. Okay, so I have we have a couple bed frames. Okay. For your guys' rooms. Look at this big Lego set. Holy cow. <laughs> How long did that take to build? Uh, like eight hours or something. 
Oh my gosh. And then look at all these Legos up here. <laughs> so everyone was suggesting that we take the curtains and put them yeah, right here that we have in your storage. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that we put the curtains right here. I think we'd do that. I, I think, think that's so a good too. idea. Yeah. So trust the process. You know how many beds I've moved in my God, day? Into room. I know, I'm very proud of you. Great job, Erin. I don't Aaron. think it's gonna go in the other room though. Yeah, into your room? Yeah. I don't know. Kinda has a weird hallway. So they have a little corner right here. But we're worried it won't like I don't think it'll angle. Make, it won't fit lengthwise. So we are actually gonna be doing Jamie's room makeover this week. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming out really, really soon. Your room's gonna be so cute. I love it. You're loving it? Yeah. Good. Look at all of her collection over here. I feel like this is a display just for Grogu. How are you feeling, Jamie? Sad. Aww. Six bolts, boom! Good to go. Now we can just carry it right in. I'll reassemble it real quick. Good to go. Hey, I found more stamps for you. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. Why were they all underneath the <laughs> beds? There's stamps everywhere. I mean, I can see where a child would assume that it is a stamp or a, a, sticker. a sticker and not a stamp. Why do you have stamps everywhere? No, there, literally there's that's two beds now that I've pulled apart that have had stamps underneath it. And I'm missing my stamp book. So literally I think that like someone, stamps went on that book? someone went on a spree but they did an underneath bed so I would never know. So they knew that it wasn't okay. Otherwise they would have been somewhere visible. I'm, I'm determined. <laughs> So if I was supposed to mail you a letter, I'm really sorry. How many stamps were in that book? I don't know. How many have 30? you found? <laughs> How many are you going to keep finding? We don't know. You got hey, money I thought she was going to keep it. Then she walked yeah. away. It's actually pretty light. Yeah. She's big and awkward. Aw, those are so cute. Did you build those? Allie's, Allie's boy boyfriend helped me. Aw, those are so cute. Holly's house anymore. Not as much, no. She was just a foster mom for a minute. Love you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too hard of a hug. <laughs> still here. Todd is still here. Isn't he cute though? <laughs> Look at his little face. It's warm. He has a haircut coming up. But, okay, so we've had a whirlwind of a few days. Yeah. Like, every emotion. Poor Holly. I know, it's, <laughs> I've been through it. She's been through it. Okay, so the lady was supposed to come and get Todd that day. She didn't show up. Um, I had a hard time getting a hold of her. Finally got a hold of her, I had to call her over and over. And she was like, oh my gosh, my friend's in the hospital and I just have so much going on. Can Todd stay one more day? Well, she had called him Todd. He actually has his previous, his prior name. Was Kelly Rexy. It. it was Rexy, we found out. Yeah. We did not like Todd that. better. Um, so I contacted the lady because I was like, listen, that. what is going on? Are you going to take the dog? Like, what, what's going on? And she was, because I was going out of town. And so I was like, I need to drop him off today or you're not going to, 
Yeah. This was three okay. days after he, she was supposed to get him. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I was like, you need to get him either today or you're not gonna get him for like two weeks while I'm gone. And she was like, oh, just take him. Like, call me when you get back and we'll sort it out. And I was like, you're supposed to get him today. And she was like, not, she was just not interested at all. And she like, was slow to respond. So basically it's the owner's friend that's taking it. Yeah. But she's like, I have so much going on. She kept making up excuse after excuse. So Hallie has now been back. She went up to St. John's for a few days. Yeah. She is back and she contacted the lady saying, hey, I'm back. No response. No response. And know. Hallie said like every day that goes by, I'm getting more and more attached and the harder and harder this is gonna be on me. I told her, I was like, this is gonna be really difficult if you're gonna end up taking him back. And like, I'm basically just babysitting if you plan on taking him back. And it's just like this back and forth. And so, okay, so at this point, like when things, when she stopped responding and we were kind of going through a couple of days where I was like, something doesn't feel right. And I think that's huge to follow that gut instinct. And I feel like Todd was meant to be yours. Yeah. Like I He's feel not like, leaving. Yeah. So at this point, we have decided that um, even if she shows up and wants the dog, that we are not going to give the dog back. He is mine. He is yours. So according to Arizona law, we looked it up because I was like, what is this? Like, how does this even work? Like if we make this decision and she tries to come back, like, what is it gonna look like? Yeah. I just feel like the back and forth though, like for me, if like someone gave away Harley or Maddie, like I would have been at the door that day, like, no, 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 like that's my, uh, that's dog. my dog. Like that second, I wouldn't be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow and busy here, I'll do it again. You're going out of town, take the dog with you, I'll get it when I get back. Like, I feel like, yeah, like there's just something not quite right. There's no response and there's like such inconsistency with like the lady that was trying to get him back. It's ridiculous. And then they just certain answers not answered. And I'm wondering if he was just being used as like a stud for like a puppy mill kind of thing. Or there was something cause he is not neutered. Um, and I felt like it was just, I just didn't get a good feeling. Yeah. So yeah, oh, according to Arizona law, if you've had a dog in your possession for more than 120 hours with knowing the owner and they didn't come that legally they're yours. I don't know how accurate that is. I've just been Googling, but- well, Legally they like forfeit. Forfeit rights to the dog. Yeah. And you get custody. Um, so she has a vet appointment for him. When is your vet appointment? Uh, I think it's two in a couple days. days. Yeah, yeah, two days. So in a couple days, that they are gonna run um, to see if there's a chip on the dog, to see if maybe the dog was stolen originally, yeah. and then they had it, and then it's like this whole big mess. Um, if he has a chip, that's gonna make this so much longer and like more complicated. More complicated. Um, so I hope he doesn't have a chip, but if he does, then we're gonna try and return him. I mean, I don't even know if the original owners want him. I, mean, I just feel like he found you for a reason. Okay, <laughs> so at this point, we are considering it Hallie and Jamie's dog. Yes. But we have been through it with just, I, there's so much more, but we're just still trying to figure it all out. So Hallie will have answers on her channel in a couple days. Yeah. On <laughs> if there's a chip or whatnot. If there's not a chip, it will be officially her dog. Yeah. And uh, she has a grooming appointment next week. Yes. So he's gonna be so cute with his new haircut. Um, and then also she's gonna be getting him neutered. So all of that. <laughs> Aww. Hi. Say He's such a good dog though. He's so loved. He's so loved. That's mine. So loved. That's mine. Lucas gave him a bath the other day, like I helped. Being like, yeah. Oh, yeah. They both did a great job. So how are you feeling now? What are you thinking? Um. Uh, it's just so hard. <laughs> like I'm trying not to put like all of myself and all of my love into him because like it was so uncertain like whether he was gonna go back or not. But um, I'm like trying, I don't know. 
She's like attached, but then I think we can get her out. Right? Our dogs want to tell you how they feel. <laughs> so I think for Hallie too, like, when you get so attached and so excited about something, and then just to have it ripped away that next day, or well, a couple days, and then to go back and forth, like, I'm gonna get the dog, now she's not responding, I'm gonna get the dog, now not responding, like, that back and forthness is just like, plays with your emotions. Did you feel yourself like putting a wall in? Yeah. Yeah? I definitely, yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like you're taking that wall down now that we're just like, you know what? <sighs> I don't know. I'm it's just like, hard. I'm just like not getting my hopes up. Oh. <laughs> you, you can get your hopes up because we're going to fight for him. Okay. At this point, we're not doing this back and forth. Okay. <laughs> I no. told you to fight for him, and you said that you couldn't. We originally, we no. couldn't actually. They basically had five days to come and get the dog, yeah. legally. But now it's been past five days. I feel like it, that happened a lot, like doing foster care. Like you would get this kid, and you would just like love on them, and they were just like your everything. And then you would find out that they were going to like grandparents or different things, and then you're like, <sighs> Okay, at least I know I loved and took care of them while they were with me. Yeah. But it's so hard to like let them go at the same time. So it's that back and forth. It's that back and forth. Jake was one of those. I know we've shared that before, but like Jake was supposed to go back and then didn't, and then was supposed to and then didn't, and then ended up them suffering rights. And it was just like such a whirlwind of emotions. It was really difficult. But I knew he was meant to be my son the whole time. But it was just like. The back and forth was so difficult on our family. Yeah. But we are gonna call it official. Yeah. He is yours. He is mine. He's yours forever. Aw, poor you. You're just experiencing life in adulthood. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. He's, he's my chocolate chip. Yeah. He's Jamie's chocolate chip, that's what she said. <laughs> Say welcome to the family, Todd. Welcome to the family, Todd. It's been a wild ride, but you're going to be official. Should we do a doctrine paperwork? What should we do? <laughs> no one can ever take him. Throw a little party. <laughs> Throw a little doctrine party. That would be so cute. That we should. Cute. You got to kiss me. Put a tuxedo on him with a bow in the middle. Put a tuxedo on him with a bow, Jamie says. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, for, we'll make him an official. Todd, edit. it. I mean, who stopped you in the middle of the road and is like, hey, come over here, I really need your help. Can you take this dog? And then, who does that happen to? A few days later, like, oh no, wait, I wasn't supposed to get, it's just like this, I don't know. We're very confused at last. I just feel for you. It's hard. It's so hard. This whole situation, just a mess. It's a mess. Yeah. It's gonna be okay though. It all is going to work out. I hope And so. there's a reason for everything. And you were meant to save Todd's life. So I still really believe that. Yeah. And I think it'll work out how it's meant to work out.